If you want to get more done on a daily basis, but you also want to spend less time doing things that you don't like, having good time management is incredibly important. My name is Adam and I run a multi six figure social media marketing agency. And to do so, I have to keep my time pretty dialed in. Because yes, I did start this business to make money, but I don't want to be a slave to my business. And trust me, it's very, very easy to become a slave to your business. Unless you have systems and a good team in place, you are gonna be working 24 seven. Now this is also gonna be applicable if you're working a nine to five job or if you are in college. Pretty much anybody who does anything on a daily basis needs to have good time management. Because nobody wants to do more work just for the sake of doing more work. You want to get more done in less time. Because if you get more done in less time, it means that you have more free time to actually do what you want to do. So this is how I go about managing my time and planning out my time to make sure that I don't spend all my time working and I do have free time for the things that I actually want to do. Now the first thing that you have to figure out is what do you need to spend time on? What are the important things that take time from you every day? So for me, I use three rough categories for this. First is health. Second is wealth and finally we've got love and happiness. So all three of those things need my attention every day. So I'm going to give you an example of how I'd look at those areas and what those activities look like in each area. All right, so let's start with health, right? To be healthy, these are the things I do on a daily basis. Usually I go to the gym or I'll do a workout. I'll also try and get about 10,000 steps in per day. I'll have roughly between two to four meals a day. Depends on the day, depends how much I'm eating, depends if I'm training, depends if I have a big work schedule or what that looks like. I personally do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat for a few hours in the morning and I cut my eating at about 8 p.m. at night. I also wanna make sure I get enough water in. I don't drink caffeine, so that's a pretty key thing for me. And I wanna make sure I do things like meditation and journaling. So if I do all of those key things, I know that my health is gonna be in a very good place. Whereas if I start overworking or spending more time on things that you know I enjoy doing on the weekend and then I take away from my health, those things are gonna be affected. Now, number two is gonna be wealth. So there's three main things that I do on a daily basis for wealth. Now, these all fall in under the category of working on my business. That is where I make my money, so that is where my wealth comes from. For my social media marketing agency, there are pretty much three key areas that I gotta focus on, right? Number one is outreach. Are we reaching out to new businesses and getting new businesses interested in what we have to offer? Second is sales, right? Are we actually converting those businesses that are interested into actual clients that pay us on a monthly basis? And three is the operations of the business, right? Is the team working well? Are we putting out good content and good things for our clients? Plus, is there anything that we need to automate that's taking the team a ton of time? Those are just three examples of three areas that I look at inside Wealth. Now, I've got to do those on a daily basis. And again, if I let one of those slip, things start to fall apart. Now, finally, we have love and happiness. I put the two of these into one category. You can, of course, split them up. I just personally think that they go fairly well hand in hand. Of course, you can have love without happiness and happiness without love, but they do work pretty well together. So what this looks like for me is talking with loved ones, having calls and chats with you know fam and friends, but then also doing things that I enjoy. Now, a lot of the things that I do that I enjoy actually sometimes fall in under health and wealth. So for example, I really like working out, so that falls nicely into health. And I also really like seeing progression in my business, which falls under wealth. But of course, there's some other things that I do on a daily basis that don't necessarily you know, fall in under health. Things like listening to good music or maybe watching one of your favorite episodes after a long day. Right, so that's the first thing done. We've got the activities that we've got to do on a daily basis. We've got them in nice categories, and we know that we're hitting all of the key categories to have a fulfilled, happy, and successful life. So now we've got to start blocking out time each day and each week to make sure these activities actually get done. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of the tools and things that I use to basically make this happen. The first thing I use is Google Calendar. I use this to time block and plan out all of the activities for my day into 30 minute, hour long, and two hour sessions. Now the important note here is that I try and block this off the night before. So if I'm sitting down on a Monday to work, Sunday night, I've done all the prep work, I've planned everything out, and I've got my calendar ready to go. This is really important for me because I'll have a lot of calls booked in each day. Now if I don't plan out my day and I just leave the calls run on into each other, I'm not gonna get a whole lot of actual work done. 
I personally use the calls that I have booked in as a kind of basis and benchmark for today because those are things that I don't really change. I could change them, but I don't want to tell a potential client that I want to reschedule and rather just adhere to the time that they booked in. So I pretty much plan my days around those calls. Time blocking is very, very effective. And there's a rule that basically suggests that a task that you do will expand to the time that you've allotted to do it. So if you give yourself 30 minutes or one hour to write an essay or write out some emails that you gotta send off, it will probably take you that amount of time, if it's 30 minutes or 60 minutes. So a good practice to do here is to take a task, think of the rough number of time that it's gonna take you to do it, and then drop a few minutes off that. So if you think it's gonna take you 45 minutes, block it in for 30 minutes and you'll probably get it done. The second thing I use is Google Keep. This is pretty much just a digital notepad similar to Evernote or softwares like that. I use this for thoughts and notes that I wanna come back to, but also anything that I wanna write out or plan out, such as a strategy for a client, let's say, or a strategy to get more leads for my business. And the reason I put this on a digital notepad is because I can come back to it six months, nine months, or 12 months later, and I know it will be there in the exact same place. Which brings me nicely onto point number three. I use a physical notepad for you know, fleeting thoughts, ideas, little things I've gotta do that I wanna write down quickly, but also to do daily reflection and journaling. I personally get a lot of value from doing this, writing down my thoughts, how I'm feeling, what I'm grateful for, a quick recap of my day. And it's something I've done pretty much on and off for the last five years. And again, something I've just really got a ton of value from. It helps me recognize patterns of when I'm not feeling too good, but also when I'm feeling really good so I can see what was I doing when I was feeling really good what was I doing when I was feeling really bad? And can I find some inconsistencies between those? Now, I just wanna add a little disclaimer here. I wanna just mention that nobody is perfect and nobody adheres to their schedule 100% of the time. Well, I'm sure there's one or two people who do, but it's not personally me. I stick to my schedule pretty much most days. I rarely miss a day, but there is certain days where I'm just not gonna do the things that I wrote out. So as long as you follow it 80 or 90% of the time, you'll be all right. So hopefully you got some value from this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you do on a daily basis to make sure you actually manage your time effectively and do the things that you wanna do? Maybe you use a software that I have no idea about or an app and I would love to hear what you use. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.